The Paris Agreement... Making history at the UN in New York. As Earth Day was being observed around the planet, a record number of countries signed the historic Paris Accord to slow global warming. China and the United States, the world's top producers of greenhouse gas emissions, pledged to formally adopt the deal by the end of the year. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry brought his granddaughter along, symbolically stressing the pact's importance for future generations. Jamais. For the French president who hosted the talks in the wake of last November's terror attacks, this was a moment of satisfaction. Never in the history of the UN has it been possible to bring together 170 states to sign an agreement. So this is now more than a commitment. This will be a text irreversibly written into international law. But from an environmentally active actor, this warning. We can congratulate each other today. But it will mean absolutely nothing if you return to your countries and fail to push beyond the promises of this historic agreement. Now is the time for bold, unprecedented action. Many countries still need a parliamentary vote to formally approve the deal, which commits nations to restraining the global rise in temperatures to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. 2015 was the planet's warmest year since records began.